I'm Dr. Sahil Khanna. I am a gastroenterology fellow at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. We are publishing an article of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings titled Gastric Acid Suppression and Outcomes in Clostridium Difficile Infection, a Population-Based Study. The article will also appear online. Clostridium Difficile Infection, or C. difficile, is amongst the commonest hospital-acquired infections. More recently, it has been associated with increased mortality, morbidity, and cost. It has been seen that the severity and the incidence of the infection has been steadily increasing. Several novel risk factors have been found for this infection. Most importantly, acid, gastric acid suppression medications like proton pump inhibitors and histamine 2 blockers. The outcomes of clostridium difficile infection in patients who are on concomitant gastric acid medications have not been well evaluated. In this study, we aimed to study the association of outcomes of clostridium difficile infection in patients who are on concomitant gastric acid suppression medications. We aim to study four different outcomes, severe infection, severe complicated infection, treatment failure, and recurrent infection. We performed a population-based study from Olmsted County, Minnesota over a 15-year time period. We found out that about a third of the patients in our cohort were on an acid suppression medications. Patients who were on acid suppression medications were significantly older and had more comorbidities. On univariate analyses, we found that patients who were on acid suppression medications were more likely to have severe or severe complicated clostridium difficile infection. However, on a multivariate regression model upon controlling for age, comorbidities, and prior antibiotic exposure, the association between severe and severe complicated infection and acid suppression medications was no longer seen. In addition, there was no association between the use of these medications and treatment failure or recurrent infection. Prior studies have shown an association between recurrent C. difficile infection and the use of proton pump inhibitors, but those studies have not been controlled for important covariates including age and comorbidities. The results of this study can be directly translated into clinical practice. Our study is different from previous studies in several ways. The study is population based. It includes both inpatients and outpatients who have community acquired infection. Since C. difficile is an increasing in incidence and also proton pump inhibitors and histamine 2 blockers are amongst the com most commonly prescribed medications in the nation it is important for us to realize that these medications are not associated with adverse outcomes in patients with C. difficile infection upon controlling for important comorbidities like age and other illnesses. Future larger prospective studies would be needed to further study these outcomes uh, of clostridium difficile infection in patients who are on concomitant acid suppression medications. So in summary, we would say that patients who are on concomitant acid suppression medications and have C. difficile infection are not at an increased risk of severe infection, severe complicated infection, treatment failure, or recurrence after controlling for important covariates like age and comorbidities. In patients who have C. difficile infection and have an absolute indication for these medications like gastrointestinal bleeding should may be continued on these medications. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.